bread. In the US alone, almost 160 million people consume a loaf of bread over the course of a week, and companies such as Kroger, Schwebel, and Sunbeam Bread produce that bread. Schwebel's, for instance, produces close to 1 million loaves of bread and rolls per day. But what many people don't realize is that there is a chemical that is potentially harmful in the bread they are eating. This chemical is potassium bromate, or KBRO3. Potassium bromate is fairly easy to produce and is a white crystal that is put into the flour that is used to make a lot of commercial bread. While this chemical is a slow-acting oxidizer and helps promote the rising of bread in addition to making bread whiter, it has some other effects that aren't so great. Potassium bromate, commonly referred to as simply bromate, is added into the flour before the dough is made by the manufacturer, and when the right amount of the chemical is added, all of it is consumed by the baking process. The proper amount of bromate is between 15 and 30 parts per million, but using more than that means that there is some residual left in the product, whether it is bread or rolls or some other baked good. Potassium bromate in a lab study done on mice was found to cause damage to the DNA of the cells and to hinder the mending of that damage. These results were even more extreme when bromate was mixed with bisphenol A, more commonly known as BPA, an additive that was used in plastic but was banned in the US. Potassium bromate has been classified as a category 2B carcinogen, meaning that it is possibly carcinogenic to humans. Bromate was caused to found an increase in thyroid cancer in female mice. Bromate has also been found to cause problems for human children. Children in the age range of one and a half to three years of age, when ingesting a two to four ounce sample of bromate in a 2% solution, had nausea and vomiting as well as abdominal pain. And a 500 milligram sample in a 15 month old caused more serious symptoms. Despite bromate being banned in many countries around the world, the FDA still hasn't banned it. Bromate is banned in the European Union, Argentina, Brazil, Canada, Nigeria, South Korea, Peru, Sri Lanka, China, India, and others. The FDA, instead of banning the chemical, has decided to suggest to bakeries that bromate and bromated flour shouldn't be used. King Arthur Flour has an article on their website about bromate and bromated flour. The article outlines a slight background and the problems with bromate and bromated flour. They also outline the techniques needed to make bread using unbromated flour. In addition, California requires that products containing potassium bromate are labeled as possibly carcinogenic under Proposition 65. There is an alternative that we already all consume and need, ascorbic acid, more commonly known as vitamin C. According to the National Center for Biotechnology Information, 80 parts per million of potassium bromate can be substituted with 20 parts per million of ascorbic acid. Vitamin C is used to present scurvy and other diseases, as well as being used in a medical setting already. Vitamin C is helpful to our bodies and is harmless in normal doses and requires a lot to have adverse effects on humans. Despite the very common and healthy alternative to potassium bromate, the FDA has not banned it and has not taken any real action against it, even with the evidence to the adverse effects on animals and humans. It is all too common to be ingesting chemicals that we know nothing about and are causing us problems that we won't find out about for a long time.